and we are back it is a late night shout out to lou transportation out here if you guys don't know if you guys didn't just see the quick blur we're gonna just jump right into it then we're gonna transform the car we finally got the s14 back you ready for this you ready blah, blah. big yellow guy another banana in the group hell yeah so uh yeah s14 is back one j's in the back there i'm out of breath um all i could do now is let's just start putting everything back together making it look really nice let's go thoughts on the yellow thoughts on the yellow uh God. stanley sponsored shout out to stanley dewalt yeah. shout out to alex thanks again Ooh, it looks good with the freaking up garage it's the perfect yellow honestly Dude, it's so good. Oh, I'm so hyped on it. Now we can finally put in some work. But first, what we got to do is, of course, we do a lot of KA swaps here. So we got to pull the KA out. Going to sell it to Bobby. Bobby has dibs on it already. Then we could go ahead and start the 1J stuff. Still got to find a tranny. Brendan's almost out here. He's almost done with his yeah. V8 swap. Starts up, actually. Yeah, Every time it. now. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Doesn't want to turn off, but it's good. Perfect. So 2024. <laughs> starting off very strong so that's a big plus all right now that we somewhat can see how it looks now we could put the final touches all the little stuff i need to readjust a lot of the side skirts the front fenders put all the little accent stuff and it'll look a lot better damn so hyped jeez awesome. about time all right next morning it's early it's cold you can hear the heaters going but now we're finally putting everything back together on the s14 all the little trim bits that way it'll actually look like a car and i'm just so hyped on how it actually came out like the yellow on this is so good uh we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff the only thing i don't have right now is the other front bumper that i'm actually gonna be running this is the spare one just because this one's a little i think a little too wide or a little aggressive for this but and then the ganador mirrors we'll put that on after when we get them uh but for now we're gonna put all the little trim pieces on and let's just get right to it. So huge shout out to Cheng Shu. Uh, she actually, I don't know if it's her and her boyfriend that makes these, but uh, they actually did a really good job. I uploaded pictures on my Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. But these are discontinued moldings for the S14 and they actually replicated and look at the quality on this. Crazy. Fits perfect, OEM clips and everything. Shout out to them, literally 150 bucks, can't go wrong. So we're gonna finally put these brand new ones and it should look so good. All right, so we pretty much got uh, this whole molding here and now we're gonna go ahead. I need to source out another pair of kooky door panels. I love this door pattern, but um, now, next thing that I really, really want to do is I have a brand new sunroof from 1998, literally one owner, and long story short, he actually uh, ended up taking it off right when he got his kooky, and I'm going to put that on. Got it for a super good deal, and I'm hyped. Even though sunroofs are, a lot of people don't like them, I like them, and it's brand new, so it's going to look good. And on top of that, all new seals, everything, because they they're always brittle, they're fiberglass and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead, put that on. I'm gonna go ahead, walk to the parts department over here. Oh man, I've been waiting for this for a very long time to put this on. Hopefully it's still here. And yes it is, look at all the cobwebs and everything. All right, let me try to finesse this out. We're gonna have to clean this up because there's a lot of spider webs everywhere. It's gonna be a little finessing in here, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so slowly coming together, we got the molding. Like I said, we gotta wait for the mirrors, but the sunroof, look at that. Nice, brand new. Move on to the inside right here. Whoa, easy there. So put the hole inside in. Now I just gotta go ahead, bolt. Um, bolt this up, put, finish doing the interior. Started doing back here as well. And pretty much just put all the trimming back. But I wanna vacuum all this, all that dust out. But next, what I wanna do is I wanna put on the wing. I also wanna put on the roof wing. We're doing a lot of steps all at once. So I definitely wanna transform this and we're gonna put the roof wing and the kooky wing. That'll definitely set it off big time. So one of the pieces I definitely wanted to put 
was shout out to Modelo because they have uh, S14 D Max version carbon fiber. Uh, definitely wanted to put this. I was gonna paint match it, but then I was like, oh, the carbon's actually kind of a little look. It'll probably be the only carbon that's on there. So we're gonna put this and put the roof, roof wing right on it. One shot on this. Should be doing this with another person. We're doing the wing. Oh boy. Oh. All right, now that we got the wing on, looks good. Definitely need to do the next thing, which are, we gotta do the kooky tails. All right, we got some fresh, uh, fresh coated kooky tail lights. So now we can finally put these on. Oh, man, that looks so good already. God damn, tell me that doesn't look good. Ooh. Tell me that doesn't look good. Damn, that looks so sick. I think the only thing I really need to do is just on, I don't know if you can see that little gap right here. There's a little gap right here. Might have to either bring that bumper up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that actually. That's the only way that will actually work. Or if I put like a foam liner or something, cause that's kind of bothering me. But, looks good. At last, it's finally all together. There's still a couple of parts that I do need to put on, but uh, I'm not gonna put it on until I actually get the other front bumper, cause that's the bumper that I'm gonna be running. And also at the same time, uh, we're actually gonna have to take out the KA out of here, so that way we can get ready for the 1J. But, I mean, this thing looks awesome. Do some B-roll shots and Dude, this thing is sick. So, like I said, we're gonna have to start getting to work on this now that oh, I'm so hyped the engine bay is actually matched with the outside of the car. Everything matches perfectly, surprisingly. And uh, so now we're gonna have to actually rip apart this whole KA, take all this out. We're actually selling it to our buddy Bobby G. Uh, that way he could get back out for this season. But like always guys, like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna be doing some 1J stuff to the S14. So hyped on the yellow, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Trying to do this whole thing where uh, mental health awareness, a lot of people don't talk about it and especially with men. So. This is kind of that whole thing where I wanted to build this car. I went through personal stuff. Uh, I know you guys know uh, Jake's car, his S14. Uh, sadly, he passed away a couple years ago, but his car is still around. And this is kind of uh, another project of mine that I wanted to symbolize with that. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe, guys. And we got a couple of stuff going on soon.